So, uh, we can go ahead and go over what we're going to be doing today for everybody. Uh, we will be doing our session zero. This is going to be like our uh, pre-game. Uh, we're going to be doing a series of one-on-one -on -one sort of mini sessions to introduce everybody's characters. And that's going to be hopefully fine. I don't want to rush anybody through them, but remember we do have six of them to do. Let me pull up my dashboard here. Very nice. Yeah, fuck them. Alright. I'm just pulling everything up. Uh, I gotta get my notes pulled up here. Uh, we'll start in three... Ah, we should we should just start at 10:30 because that's when the tweet announced that we would be starting for the giveaway and everything. And we still have a couple more minutes before we we proper get started here. I, you know, of course, of course, Zumi, Zumi. Is she in there? To be very active tonight. Oh yeah. You know, one thing I need to do is I also need to go into my Razor Streamer Companion and change some settings here. Because uh, it's currently set to flash blue every four messages, and we are getting a lot more messages than that. So we're going to do every ten messages. Oh. <laughs> Drunken Head's back in stock. I don't know what that means. Oh, for news. Uh, Violent Criminal <laughs> found dead in tiny fragments. Mm. I didn't realize uh, Seeker was, was as violent as he apparently is. This is you guys are hanging out uh, on my server for too long. Ooh, got one. <laughs> Do Got we one. have do we have bullet tokens? Cause I have a lot of bullets. Uh I one thing I didn't have time to do it before tonight. Instead of tokens, I'm gonna do like a ticker. Cause that's gonna be yeah. so much easier than you guys having actual physical tokens. But I promise there's probably not really enough combat here for you guys to need a whole bunch of tokens. And I mean there's there's a way they there could be that much combat, but most likely not that much. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that there's a way makes me nervous. Kind of get the disco. I got one nine foot tall coyote spotted in the outskirts of Toronto. <laughs> no, it's gonna be Seattle. Man. For now, it's just uh, Seattle declared free state. We'll add more stuff in before next. Um, still no suspect available or person of interest uh, in local gang related shooting <laughs> revolt. <laughs> <laughs> resulting in six grenade craters. <laughs> Despite huh. national search fucks not given, this is a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah. Seeker, don't... Don't... In chat, we, we might have... <clears throat> <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited for uh, the absolute mess that this already is. <laughs> good to know that we're already back on our bullshit. I don't think we were ever off it, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, breaking <laughs> news. Live interview with shortest fixer in all of Seattle. One Romeo, here to talk. <laughs> I thought you were about to talk about the in-universe reread. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
No, because I, I was already caught off guard because if you'll take a gander at Leo's sheet, he put me as a contact. Yeah, uh, and what I, a butt. I am, I'm <laughs> debating on if it is a crime to put your GM as a contact. Uh, you had an owl <laughs> character, so I went with that. I'm just how thinking, the hell? It's just funny are to all... think- <laughs> Sorry, what? No, so I was just like, how the hell are all of your uh, loyalties and shit like eight points? had a lot to spend yeah he also took <laughs> well connected i think yeah. oh god he wait so him. what do you spend like because all of mine are two because it's based on uh charisma what's your charisma oh very well, high two. Oh, yours <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, why uh. oh no <laughs> don't worry there's there gonna be a shadow on new site um so uh, kind of, basically, we're going to do six individual miniature one-on-one -on -one sessions that should culminate in a, in a finale here. Well, everybody will have a chance to, to introduce our characters through a fairly decent amount of roleplay. This will also be a semi-tutorial. So, for some of our players who are playing new classes or they're still just not super used to Shadowrun, uh, this will be a chance for you to learn things related to your role or class. Oh, God. Yeah, so we're gonna go through a little bit of everything. Uh, this one. <gasps> hey. What? Wow. Hmm? I didn't do anything. Leo flipped my character. I didn't do nothing. Sounds okay. pretty hot. Please. All right. <laughs> we are close enough to the 30 minute mark. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Is everybody here? We see. Is we miss anybody? Raise your hand if you're not here. Not here. Uh, I'm not how here. would you see that? No, it's that's a joke. <laughs> uh, so Mako, Valk, Yin, Leo, Scratch, and uh, Sign are all here. I, I've got to get used to Sign's character's name, and I keep wanting to say Sign instead of Love Tap. <laughs> Magical <Magically. laughs> All right, I probably won't respond to um to chat chat as much because I don't know how that's going to read on YouTube. So once we get started. If I do respond to chat, it'll probably be in text. Another thing I wanted to mention for future games, I don't know how I'm going to encourage it yet, maybe with like a giveaway or something. Uh, in character chat is perfectly welcome for people who are super into Shadowrun. You have a character, you know what you want to say. I do want to start encouraging that in the future because it is a BBS. Uh, and I know for a fact in my Discord we have a lot of dumb roleplay nerds. So feel free to, to go ahead and kick that out. Uh, now I also know that we have a bunch of furries, so... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should pop open Pix's Twitter finally. It's been, it's been a tick. Yeah, it's been about oh, a month no. since we, we played regularly. We've been kind of on and off, but. Uh, Alright, so without further ado, unless anybody was hoping for more ado, we shall become to get started. It's the year 2081, the end of the year of the rat, and the beginning of the year of the ox. It's a year of new beginnings and new chaos. Seattle has just become a free state and cut loose from both the shackles of the United Canadian American States laws and their protections. Se Seattle is a city ruled by corporations fighting an invisible war, a war fought with espionage and shadow owners. In today's session zero, we will introduce each of the six members of the cast. Um, we're going to do mostly counterclockwise, but we are going to start with uh, Scratch because you are one of my most seasoned players and i don't mind putting you on the spot at all go ahead and describe for me scratch yeah i would like to start uh before that with the with the brief announcement i was complaining that i was tired of going first before you joined the call <laughs> <laughs> and was like yay i'm no longer on an end point of the table <laughs> okay so hey <laughs> He explicitly asked me if I minded going first, and I said, please, no, I'm baby. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> there will be cannibalism. It will be dwarf uh, on dwarf. All right. Yeah. Fine. Freaking. Uh, rather thin for a dwarf, uh, weighing in at just under 100 pounds, of, but being of average weight for her meta type. Uh, 
deep five finger claw scars her usual impetuous expression. An earring about the size of a playing card dangles beneath her right ear, currently displaying a trio of feathers and flashing AR. She has let her vibrant blue hair fade in color, as well as the top part grow out since the 30 nights spent with the crew as it now drapes past her shoulder. Um, obvious chrome includes her right cyber forearm and right eye. Her running gear consists of plasteel composite vest strapped tightly to the sleeveless zipped up black synth leather mini dress adorning her form, navy tights, gumshoe issue charcoal colored boots, and never far from her is her grimoire stocked with hollow paper and AR spell formula. Perfect. Uh, uh, oh, and currently shacking up in a, well, We'll say her work slash living space. Nice, high-end studio apartment sort of deal. Perfect. That's exactly where I was assuming you were. Uh, no. Sitting in your quote-unquote office, you have managed to do your best for the last day or two to ignore the faint green glow of the artificial reality folder broadcast to you from the connection to your comlink. It sits there, mocking you every day, because it gets thicker and thicker daily, yet no closer to a solution. Not to mention call after call from Reverend, the bounty hunter guild proprietor that puts you up to hunting down this particular ex-con. Perhaps it's worth it to hunker down and finally give this work folder a read. <sighs> I guess so, ominous voice from the sky. <laughs> I would like to open the folder and finally give it a read. <laughs> you pop open the folder for the rat-faced man, a job you've been working on for some time now. Uh, he's elusive, and most anyone who knows him seems to be unwilling to talk. He's one of the most trustworthy underground fixers around. Uh, redundancy Department of Redundancy Department. Uh, a fixer, as you recall from the shadows, is a person that helps set freelancers up with work, equipment, or information. Interview after interview, you've recorded shows that nobody has a single nice thing to say about him, and yet, nobody is willing to turn him over. You've only got one lead left noted in here, one that you've been reluctant to follow because these kinds of witnesses are always so, so unreliable. It seems that a spirit that lives downtown saw him. <sighs> So you can of course go to that spirit whenever you're ready, but you can also do any investigation you'd like to, or run any contacts or any sorts you would want to. Sure. Uh, I actually would like to call up a contact. I would like to also note that this contact does not currently have a name. Uh, it is it... my talus legger. Okay. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, a talus legger is more less hermit and more shamanic in terms of tradition and typically also you know really really swarmy <laughs> yeah that's all about right uh, yeah so you reach out to your uh your comm link and you give a call to your uh, uh talus legger who uh, is still currently in your comm link as an unknown number he seems to like it that way she answers the phone with a yep yeah, Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> hey, yeah, I'm I'm a new customer at Scratch. Um, I was hoping for a little bit of information. Oh, what kind of information can I look into for you? You know, I'd like to put a, some feelers out for a spirit located in downtown. A <laughs> spirit. Ah. Uh... Let me uh, take a look here. I'm going to roll to see if she knows of that spirit. It looks like her connection rating was 3 if I'm correct, so I'm going to give her a bonus. I consider this something she is familiar in. Uh, okay. Uh, the spirit downtown... Hmm... You couldn't mean the man in the alleyway, could you? That sounds oddly familiar. Yes, yes, it's all coming back to me now. Could you uh, remind me which alley that was? Uh, yeah, it's, it's an alley down in the sort of uh, the 
the nightclub district, we like to call it. The the party location. A, a thumping uh, synagogue of, of party people. Uh, the the man in the alley is so named because it is a, an aspiration that appears in the alley, usually at completely random times. Generally, he doesn't bother people. He has been seen by mundane people, which is the reason rumor has spread about him so quickly. But he hasn't attacked or harmed anybody, nor has he attempted to communicate with anybody. Hmm. I'll have to change that. Thank you so much, and I look forward to doing more business with you in the future. And I will transfer a fair amount of Nuyen for that information. How much are you sending over? I don't know, like a, a thousand New Yen. What, that's that's that whatever. Is a lot of New Yen. Okay, like oh. 500 New Yen. Oh, okay. yeah, you send her a fat check. And, and she goes, <laughs> Ah, your Jing is always good here, uh, Madame Scratch. And then she just abruptly hangs up on you. I'm gonna pop open a bottle. <laughs> probably located in my office. <laughs> Uh, you pull open the drawer labeled alcohol drawer, which is uh, within <laughs> Owen's reach. Uh, that sounds about right, and it's less a drawer, more a file cabinet, just to be precise. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you even got it's... them, like, filed by alphabetic? Yeah, you yeah, actually, them? brand alphabetic. Um... <laughs> Should have done by proof, but that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 I like the surprise. I... <laughs> So you, you have your alcohol. Okay. Uh, I will take a swig with no glass. Not even <laughs> attempting for it. Glass, glasses are for guests. Uh, uh, and I'm going to gather up my things and head out. Okay. You head downtown towards the nightclub area of Seattle. Uh, you know exactly where the alley is, so there's not a lot of effort that needs to go into finding it. Walking into the alley, I'd like to immediately shift to Astral. Sure thing. I will me an Astral Perception. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't draw dice. I'm so woefully unprepared. And one more, just for good measure. We all have boxes! This is the best day of my life. Alright. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, you for that. The box goes to somewhere just laughing maniacally. I feel like they'd still... That one still counts. It was a six, it landed out the box, it's mine. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, as you open your eyes to the astral, the, the green light of your arrow folder green fades eye. away. Yeah, and your one good eye opens into the, uh, the world of the astral, and right away, uh, you spot him. The, uh, the man in the alley. Uh, this ghost appears to be that of an unfortunate man. His clothes are ragged and one of his arms looks broken yet unmended. Uh, as you open your eye to the astral, he turns to look back at you in kind, but his eyes are glassy, as if he's looking at nothing at all. A single sig hangs from his mouth, and before you have a chance to say anything, all he says is, Light. I got you. <laughs> but you might have to manifest. <laughs> he pushes off the wall, and then uh, in a moment, he slides from the astral into the real world. Um, from your... How many... You got four hits? Mm-hmm. All right. So you, you look over him for a moment, and you find it's quite difficult to get a read on an emotional state or a, a, a magic value. Um... You look at him for an extended period of time trying to figure out if his magic is higher or lower than yours before you're able to put together that he's he's suppressing his magic somehow, making it difficult for you to read. Dang, initiations, I curse to myself. Uh, he, <laughs> he walks towards you, the cigarette still hanging from his lips, and he repeats, Light? Sure, I'll just lift up my index finger on my right hand and flick the finger for the lighter. Okay. Uh, you flick your finger uh, over the lighter and it sparks to life. It lights the cigarette hanging from his mouth and 
in a moment the alleyway disappears. Suddenly you're in an upscale one percenter style apartment. The unfortunate man is now a well-dressed man lounged back in a, a lazy boy, looking comfortable with his legs crossed. Oh, okay. He says nothing. He just sits there across from you. I'm... I would like to move to a window and look out? Uh, you, you stand, uh, you move to a nearby window, and when you look out it, you see the alley walls. As if you're still in the alley, yet you're not. So, uh, something I can do for you? Ah, uh, well, I believe you came here wanting something from me. How can I help you? I would like a little information. Hmm. What kind of information would you like, madame? I'm looking for a man. Though, I hear he looks more like a rodent. Ah, you must mean the rat-faced man. That is an easy one, madame. He attends the nightclub across the street. Tech Noir. May I ask how you met the man? Oh, the the man is is interesting. He he talks to me in a way that a mundane man usually does not. No magic from him, and yet he's not alarmed by my existence the way the little people usually are. Hmm. It's nice to. Get a sense of the familiar, huh? It is, absolutely. Now, my dear, if you'd not mind but to depart, I have cigarettes to smoke. You sure do, and... Can't smoke those without this. I'm just gonna toss a lighter at him. I assume <laughs> I would have a lighter, right? Yeah, as, yeah. As well, many the... bars as Scratch ends up in, like... With, with your lifestyle, we'll say you have a lighter. You toss him the lighter, and as the lighter sails through the air, in an imperceptible moment that you don't even realize, you're back in the alley, and the man from the alley is gone. Just going to go, I really don't like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start that way. Yeah, and that is uh, where we're going to fade out on you. Uh, we are going to slide on over. We're going to continue to go uh, counterclockwise. Uh, Leo, hello. What's up? Hi. Hi. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Can you introduce your character for me? I absolutely can. Um, Pix is a measly five and some change in terms of height. He has curly hair that seems untamable despite his best effort to try and control it in a lazy attempt at a side ponytail. He has long, incredibly realistic bunny ears that poke up from his skull like he was born with them, despite how impossible. Metal peppers his ears and face and a number of piercings, as well as a whole array of glowing and pink, uh, glowing pink and green tattoos, either mimicking geometrical minimalism or intricate uh, henna, depending on the limb. Well, what limbs are left? Pix has his left arm chopped off, replaced for a mechanical one with a slightly off color from his skin, as well as two impossible to miss cyber legs which have been heavily modified to look cool. <laughs> Lastly, his eyes have been replaced with slightly green glowing cyber eyes as well. If there's one thing that can be said about Pix is that he is loud and unforgettable. Perfect. Alright, so I assume you are, uh, where, where would Pix be at this hour? Uh, Pix would be on his boyfriend's boat, thank you. <laughs> Pix is on, uh, Shanghai's yacht, as it were. Yes. Uh, and as you are lounging about, you receive a call. The call, the com ID lights up with the name Uncle Lamal. Uh, he's gonna be like, ah, uh, shit, shit, my uncle's calling. Hold up, be cool, be cool. <laughs> then he's gonna answer the phone. And uh, Amal's image it flickers to life on your com link. Hey, uh, Pix, listen, you were gone for a month on that last job, and I know I wasn't incredibly hospitable when you got back. I, this, it's hard getting used to the idea of my nephew being a, a criminal. I, this, this, that came out wrong. Can we just meet at the studio? I want to talk. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Do you, do you need me to get changed? 
Or can I show up in my criminal clothes? I, if you could show up in normal people clothes, I would appreciate that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll meet you there. And then, uh, yeah, Pixel will get changed and, and go. Uh, you make your way downtown to the Trudio news station. The sign Am I walking fast? <laughs> down. <laughs> Thank you. The sign above the door flickers slightly with the name Como Dika. You've met Amal here a few times. He has an office with a small meeting lounge on the left wing of the building. The last time you were here, you remember that there was a party thrown for New Year's, and you can still remember <laughs> the soundless AR balloons and the awful tasting synthahol. All the bad taste of alcohol was none of the effects. Cool. Cool, good to know this place is still as lame as I remember it. <laughs> You sort your memories, uh, it is still just as lame. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna like walk in. I'm gonna wave to like the, the guard who I'm sure has seen me like a bajillion times and be like, what's going on, Frank? <laughs> I, uh, because my my name is Tom, but I imagine you don't care about cool, that. Cool, Frank, thanks! <laughs> you, you slide on past Tom and mm -hmm. uh, into uh, the lounge where Amal is waiting for you. Normally, he's incredibly quick to to greet you, but he looks withdrawn for some reason. Sullen, even. Chill in the- in, like, close the doorway and be like, uh, you good? Like, I mean, I know you're not good, but, like, are you good? Uh, your ward's hanging there for a moment and he goes, I'm so sorry, Pix. And that's all he can oh. say before out from his office a trio of people spill out into the room. An elven woman in a beautiful flowing dress with her arms out approaches you rapidly. Zaki, darling! Why do you never call your dear father? He insisted we fly out here immediately. She spills out as she rapidly walks into the room. But judging by the absolutely stone-faced silent man behind her in a sharp black suit, you don't need a judge intentions role to tell that your father is probably not the person that put her up into coming out here to see you. Uh, with yeah. them is a... With them also is a dwarving man who seems to be some kind of servant. He's holding both of their coats over his arms, though there seems to be more to him than meets the eye, but you can't tell it with, uh, without some kind of skill check. Okay. Uh, but your your mother comes at you uh, in a power walking pace and is going f mm. to, for the, the cheek pinch from both sides. Mm. Cool. Uh... To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> when did we get a new- when did you get a servant? That's- is that new? Oh boy! Oh, oh, don't pay no attention to the help. How are you doing, darling? Are you still associating with orcs? Oh no, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. I was wild a bit too when I was your age. Not like Tusk or wild. But I gave that dwarf boy a kiss once on the cheek, of course. Uh, but, listen, we, we came out here, I just, I really wish you would come home. You know, it's been so long since you've come to visit. And you know, if you really need a trog lover, there's one at your hey. father's office who handles the accounts. He's an absolute darling. I mean, he only went to Cambridge, so he's a little slow. But, and she just keeps going like that. Cool. <laughs> uh, Pix is just gonna, like, turn the volume of his ears down, um, a lot. Uh, like, just enough so that if there's something, like, to pick up on, um, <laughs> me too, uh, chat, oh god, um, yeah, I'm gonna give Amal just, like, the worst look, and I'm just, uh, I'm gonna be like, uh, so, um, I actually have a place to stay, and I'm, like, a 23-year-old adult male who so, can live on his own. When you turn your ears down, you then hear a sudden, like a, like a ring sound, like when, when somebody taps on a mic. And the reason is for that is because your mother has reached out and grabbed your prosthetic ears. Oh god. Uh, and she, darling, what have you done with your ears? Some Humi might think you're one of them, dear. What would the neighbors think if they found out you were looking like a breeder? I, okay. <laughs> Um, I don't know what this conversation is for. Do you, uh, I, I don't. Am I allowed to go? Uh, so you, you have dealt with your parents a lot in your life, unfortunately. And yeah. you begin picking up that in order to steer the conversation into whatever it's really about, you're going to need to make some kind of influential check okay, to guide right. the conversation. I am going to do uh, a negotiation. Um... And what I'm going to negotiate is, uh, basically, um, you seem to have come here with a, a purpose. 
and um, I want to know what your terms are so that I can immediately reject them, <laughs> but with skill. Alright, go ahead and roll it for me. Alright. Oh, guys, hello. can I can I get like nine of those? No. No? Okay, cool. I'll just take them out one by one. I love that. Is it not drawn? No. I'll see what I can figure out later. Weird, I drew mine easily. <laughs> that that is the in person equivalent of works on my machine and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That is three heads. Oof. Uh, Big oof. Yeah, so uh, for a long time your mother kind of talks around you and mm-hmm. it, it drones onto your patience. Uh, you're, as, as skilled as you are in the art of talking to people, your mother is skilled in the art of making a conversation go way too long. Eventually, cool. after an extended uh, conversation about how cloning you new ears is going to be rather pricey, she does get to the point. Oh, my, my beautiful baby boy. Listen, Amal told us you were in all sorts of trouble with the Yakuza. Now, remember, uh, y- you remember that oh, knife- Can I just shoot the like, <laughs> most seething glare at Amal right now? Amal, Amal... Like, if I had, oh, I don't have any kind of intimidation, but ooh. Yeah, ooh. Um, Amal, to his credit, looks looks uh, very apologetic. And he's kind of whispering, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> Like he's, he, he, yeah, that's fair. I get, uh, it's fine. Uh, now, now you remember that nice young harlot human your father spends all of his time with. Uh, he's one of them yakuza's. So I told your father to make it all go away. So we've gone ahead and done that for you, hon. Uh, uh, oh. and since we've done that favor for you, we're going to be in town for a couple of days to look after affairs, and we think it's only fair that you visit us. In the, in in the future. In the future, just that's the terms I visit in the future. Before we leave, of course, yes. Oh, okay. And um, as, as you're having this conversation, um, imperceptible to your mother, an arrow window, po- arrow window pops up. An Im- image of a chow chow pops up covered in digital bits. You recognize it as Shanghai's icon. And Ni Hao, are you doing anything important right now? Absolutely not. Uh, without sending another text message, you receive an image file. It's a file of a tag you put up last year on the inside of a roof in a downtown nightclub called Tech Noir. He mm-hmm. then sends a follow-up image of that being tagged over with somebody else's tag. Uh, mm-hmm. a, a rat image that says, the year of the rat never ends. Oh, God. Uh, Shanghai sends you back, listen, this has only been up for a day, but I thought you might want to swing by and uh, fix it. Thank you. I, I love this. Thank you. You do not know how much this means to me right now. Um, I'm going to just kind of like perk up, like visually make it seem like I was not paying attention. And I want to make it readily apparent to everyone that I was not paying attention. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, oh, uh, you're a patron of the arts, are you not? Uh, you, to your mother? Yes. Uh, oh, yes, your, your father took me to the most... Wonderful. Cool. Um, Our crimes are happening. I need to go and rectify them with my education skills in art right now. I have to go. Uh, it's 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 such a... I have to go. And then I'm going to just leave. <laughs> Alright, so are you going to excuse yourself? Because that'll need a social role? Or are you just going to hoof it? Because I'm going to make that um, an athletics check. I... I... <laughs> I would like to do... Can I somehow make this like a stealth? situation where I'm like leaving out one door and then going out another so that if they try to follow me they'll won't they won't go the right one. You won't make your stealth. Yay. Your mom's perception is actually not that great, so that might work. Perfect. <laughs> He's got high intuition but she doesn't have perception of skill. It is three hits. So she has to do You got three hits? Yes. Okay, so you you excuse yourself and uh, disappear in a direction that looks like maybe it's the restroom, maybe it's some other room, and like, when your parents attempt to hunt you down, you're just gone. Cool. Uh, they don't even notice the window that you opened and slipped out of. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and I want to head immediately to where that uh, tag is. Alright, so you head off to Technoir, and that's going to wrap up your little section there. 
Uh, we're gonna slide on over. Uh, Wall Street. Hello. Hello. I thought for a minute your mic wasn't working. <laughs> no, my work, my mic's working. I'm good. Can I you just go I ahead know. and describe your bullish boy for me. Uh, yeah. So he is a literal gunslinging cowboy, not to be confused with a cowboy. <laughs> um, he's decked out in superfluous orange and glowing objects, including carved horns that add an additional foot to his already nine foot tall body. He even has to turn his head to get into some doorways. He's flashy, he's loud, and he's good at shooting things, as apparent by the many guns strapped to his person, but he also looks like a wonderful friend. Oh, wonderful. Well, uh, good news, Wall Street. It's been a pretty good week for your career, all things considered. Not your Shadowrunning career, that's not gone anywhere yet. But your live streaming career? Absolutely. Coming off of the tale of your most recent competition, landing in the top eights while all ten of your viewers were watching, uh, it's second only to the feeling of the little bug you dropped in the Miracle Shooter servers, an exploit the devs left open that you let that lets you absorb metrics of everyone's playing. Highly illegal, sure, but fun? Definitely. Uh, as we reach midday, it seems like it might be a good time to check on that little bug you left behind. Okay. So I'll uh, go ahead and do that. I believe... I actually don't know a lot about cracking. That How do I? The reason I set this up so we can guide you through it. So first, <laughs> uh, the first hurdle in your path is just logging onto a legal server. You can do that from the comfort of your own home. You have a legal pass for the Miracle Shooters public server. You can go ahead and log into. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. All right, you uh, plug into your deck. Uh, now there are two ways to go into the matrix. You can either go in augmented reality, which is more like using a computer in real life with keyboards and, and maybe a touch screen or you can do what most deckers do and go in virtual reality which is where you plug your deck into your uh, cyberjack you fall unconscious and you wake up as your virtual avatar in the virtual i would love to do that one but i do have a question pix did you ever upload the artwork of i didn't have time to draw it um okay so no, i apologize if... You could you we we will use the theater of the mind like some kind of tabletop role playing game. Uh, uh, I I I think for now I will do AR. Okay, so uh, you are able to pull up the the page for uh, for the Miracle Shooter uh, public node. Uh, the the public node would normally be a sprawling cityscape, but instead, since you're on the like the basically the web page is a, a a sort of 3D trio image of a cityscape with words such as excitement and hyperkill sprawled all over the map between shopping buildings that sell overpriced skins, emotes, and dances. Uh, this isn't what you're here for, though. You vaguely remember where the secured node was that contains the metrics. You just need to look around a bit for it. So, this is where you can do a matrix perception. Um, now, for checks like this, you do you do get a bonus for being in VR. Is the main reason you'd want to do that. Okay. Uh, but you can you can do AR or VR. Basically, you need to roll your uh, perception plus your. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to you roll your electronics plus your intuition. I believe it is. I've just noticed uh, we don't yeah. have electronics. So that's one reason we're doing the session zero is we can fix any any holes in the characters. Is you are missing a critical skill here. Um, okay. But we will uh, for now. We'll just assume you have it at rating uh, one or two, and when we do the respec after game, we'll fix that for you. So okay. Go, go ahead and roll me. Uh, just do intuition plus two. We'll assume you have it at two. Okay, that's my intuition is three, so five. Yep. Okay, so I got three. Uh, you find it. Uh, you are able to locate the uh, Miracle Shooter secured node right where you left it. There's good news and bad news, however. The good news is that you, you were able to find the login entrance. The bad news is that the exploit you used to log in before is no longer available to you. You'll need to make a, either make a new backdoor with a few minutes of effort, 
Or, of course, you can punch your way through and hope that the resulting alert isn't traced back to your icon. Uh, let's, uh, let's do the sneakier way. Okay, so for that, roll me your cracking plus your logic. I, oh, five. Okay, five plus five. So, ten. Uh... And you... Okay. Wow. That sucks. The good news is this is an extended check. There's one minute per roll. So, you do get to keep rolling. Also, okay. you, you get an edge because you're, um... Your uh, sleaze is higher than its uh, defense, so you gain one edge. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend that edge to preemptively fix one. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I can change this four into a five, right? Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got eight hits so far. Now, at this point, you feel like it's enough, but you can keep going. The more time you spend on your back door, the easier it is to log into the system. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so you're two minutes in with eight successes. Go ahead and do it again. I yikes. Well, nine successes. So as far as you're concerned right now, you're 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 just tapping away at an at an arrow screen because you're in uh, augmented reality. It's, it's, you're you're actually typing the code. But to anybody that would exist within that server, anybody that would be VR, they would see your icon running any programs and tearing down that wall. And eventually, uh, you are able to manufacture your backdoor. So to log in, you're going to roll your logic plus your cracking plus uh, the nine hits you got making the backdoor. I'm sorry, actually, because it was rating four, you got nine, five, six, seven. So five plus five, 15 D6. Okay, so 15. So two. That's a five more. Uh, can you make that was not enough ones to get a uh, glitch? I was looking at it. it. Wasn't quite half. Trust me, I, w I would have taken advantage of it had it been. <laughs> uh, okay. So four. Ugh. Uh, Rolling terribly right now. That's get all the bad rolls out of the way now. That just be how it do. Uh, you are able to log in to the secured node for Miracle Shooter. Uh, the the new uh, location you're in, the secured node, looks a lot like the, uh, the node you were just in, but it's a, a deep red color, as if to say limited access here from this point on. Now you just need to find that little bug you left behind, and that would be another matrix search to hunt it down. So that would be uh, your intuition. Yeah, yeah. No, it'd be intuition plus two, because we're kind of treating you like you have a uh, matrix perception. Okay. Wait, intuition you said? Yeah, intuition uh, plus two. Oh, so just five. That's two? Not, no, two is the target. So you are the file. There it is, looking like a floating D20 in the node. Something's wrong, though. You get the feeling that perhaps you should uh, look a little bit closer. Okay. So roll me another matrix perception if you'd like to. Of course, you can also just download the file and be done with it. No, I'm gonna look at it. One. Okay. One was your target number here. So after a moment, you do see what looks like something else in the file. There's a small rat standing on top of the dot. A light flash indicates that you've caught them just as they finish downloading the file. Your file that you put here that contains the metrics of thousands of players. Uh, but just as you spot him, he begins to log out, uninterested in any kind of combat with you at this time. Can I attack him? Uh, you can certainly make a matrix attack. I, I would like to do that. How do I do that? Uh, that would be your cracking plus your logic, I believe. And if you're running any appropriate programs, I don't remember which programs yeah. you got. Uh, I think we were going to go over that. And I don't think we actually got them out. Oh, yeah. no, actually, I did. Uh, you have over, overclock and exploit, it looks like. Yes. Uh, so neither of those are going to help you in combat, but go ahead and roll it for me. 
Because he doesn't have a lot of dice for this. What was it again? It was, uh... Uh, logic plus, uh, uh, cracking. Okay. I believe cyber combat's in cracking. It reduces it DR by two, so if we get edge. You know. I got three. Okay. So you do manage to hit him. What does your attack program look like? Oh wait, no, you're you're an AR, you're an AR, so it doesn't have a visual. So you you're uh, just unloading chunks of uh, of data stream at him one after another. You're just you're you're overloading him with zeros and ones until his icon begins to uh, to overflow. Uh, your attack rating, I believe, is the attack of your deck, which is four. So he needs to resist that. Four plus three, even if he's an AR. I think it's four plus three divided by two. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 always just four, anyways. Okay. Yeah. So he takes the full blunt. So you you blow a whole chunk off of his icon, or in in your view, you you just begin flooding his connection with with bits and bobbles. Um, and as soon as you're done doing that, he force logs off. He he disconnects. Um. He's gone. Uh, intuitively, you realize that even though there's still a copy of this file here for you, now somebody else has a copy of this file. A copy of a file obtaining illegal information that your fingerprints are all over. Can I trace him or anything, or is he just gone? You can. You can do a uh, trace icon. How do I do that? So, for the trace icon action... Trying to pull it up here. It is uh, electronics plus intuition. So again, it's going to be your intuition plus two. Okay, so uh, intuition is three, so five. And by the way, Scratch and Pix, if you'd like to go ahead and move your tokens into the nightclub, wherever you'd like to put them. Sure. So I got two. All right, well, he got one, so you uh, do beat him. Uh, you run a trace on his icon, uh, and you compare it to the map of Seattle you have. As the trace runs, taking only a couple of minutes, you soon see that he was logged on from a nightclub in downtown called Tech Noir. Okay. Is there anything that I can do to attack him from here, or would I have to physically go to the location? Unfortunately, since he's logged off... There's nothing you can do from here. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go pack up my guns and go find out who the fuck took my data. And that is the end of our segment here with uh, Yinri. Uh, we're gonna move hey, Riri. Hello? My token vanished. My my model. I don't know where it's gone. It just, it's just gone. Did you click on it or...? I moved it in front of my table next to my name and it just went. Okay, let me see if I can remake it for you. Sorry, but thank you. Just been banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to resize it. Uh, hold on. I gotta compare it to the size of everybody else's token. Oh, it made it the same size. Okay, so that's... There you go, your token. Oh! Right. Uh, Valk EX1 if you would not mind, please describing your character for me. EX1 um, is, for most part, probably more cyberware than person. A human male with a almost gender fluid style body, long red ponytail, um, almost bi uh, bio biological looking horns attached to their head, many cyber implants uh, from neck downwards seems to be completely cyberwared um, a cyberwared tail which clutches a sword pistols various other weapons but also strong signals come from them potentially a drone user this is ex1 or einharger perfect now uh, as you are no doubt aware, it has been some weeks since your escape from the Megacorp that changed you. You still aren't quite used to your new body. 
more chrome than flesh with the holes in your memory. It's impossible to be sure where your old wage, wage slave self ends and your new self begins. Fortunately, a few friends in the right place has paid off for you. Your comm link goes off. It's the fixer that you've been in contact with since your escape. A woman named Silva. Yeah, hello. Ah, uh, it can, it, uh, she way mispronounces your name. Uh, I've been, I've been doing digging, uh, trying to find what you asked me to find. Uh, your cred is just as good as anyone else's after all. And mostly I've been trying to find somebody in the same mega block as you at Rinwaku that would have the authorization to know whatever happened to you. Uh, I haven't been able to dig up much. I found a name, uh, Inazo Nizumi. But I suspect it's probably an alias. Uh, I did my best to track it down, but whoever it is is smarter than I thought. I was trying to tell them and they spotted me with the drone. Took it out with my pistol near 5th Street in an alleyway and hoofed it. Uh, I'm not going back for it, but if you grab that drone, you might have your answer. Right, okay. Yeah, thanks for the information. You are welcome. Let me more credit if you need any more help. It hangs up on Ah, great. The trail gets longer. Well, I guess... I guess he'll head off to uh, the location which was provided. It looks like it is an alleyway, like she said, just off of 5th Street. It doesn't take you too long to get down there. Um, the problem is going to be finding the proverbial needle in the haystack. Uh... I don't believe you have person. You do uh, not. No. Uh, but uh, there is more than one way to find this kind of thing. You know there's a drone somewhere in this alley. You just have to find it. Hmm. Now, you can, uh, you can, of course, attempt to do a regular perception. You'll just take a small penalty, and it's an extended check. So you'll find it eventually with some some time digging, or since you do have uh, an, a pan uh, and matrix perception, you can attempt to uh, to find it uh, by rolling a matrix perception, which would be your electronics plus your intuition. I do not have electronics. It would seem I am missing something important. Oh, um. I yeah. But either so you're you're gonna be defaulting either way. It's just uh, whether you're trying to find it electronically or by hunting it down with your eyes. He'll probably use his eyes, seeing as he's still trying to get used to all this cyber junk in his body. All right. Roll me your intuition by itself. Okay, so you start looking for the first minute. Uh, you haven't quite turned it up yet. Looks like it's going to take an extended search. What's the one to make them bounce and jump? I do not know, actually. Uh, the, it's R. E, three. Alright, three, uh, three hits is more than enough. You actually only need two. So you do eventually find the... Uh, a busted cyberspace designs quadrooptor a quadrooptor quadrotor this little <laughs> tiny floaty thing and it's got a bullet in it uh so you do in fact have a damaged drone that's essentially a camera on a rotor uh, he'll pick it up you now have in your hands a camera on a rotor just looking it over in his hands does it look completely shot or does it just look you know does it not fly or is it junk at this point it looks like you might be able to repair it enough to get the camera feed off of it you might be able to fix it entirely but it's a long shot uh if you'd like to try to repair it it's your logic plus engineering Let's see if i can get it going okay well me logic plus engineering Yeah. 
Would you like to spin any edge on that? <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, how much just to reroll? Um, to it would be four to reroll all of your failures. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll spend four to reroll failures. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, seven hits. Sure. So at first, it seems like uh, you're not getting anywhere with it. In fact, it looks like you broke it more than it was when you got it. But uh, you you eventually are able to find a place that you kind of recognize what you're doing in the repair. And not only are you able to fix the camera on the drone, but you're able to repair the drone entirely. So now you have a Cyberspace Designs quad rotor, and you also have a camera on it that still has its feed chip. You could pull the tread off the camera to see what it saw moments. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll hack in, well, activate the feed and see what I can pull up on it. So you pull it up into your AR vision. Uh, you pull the camera feed and you rip the footage. Opening the Tridio in your AR, you get a clear enough image in the file, despite the file corruption. Despite the face of a rat-faced man looking directly at the camera as he attempts to fix the lens. Behind here is a behind him is a sign that flashes Tech Noir. Right. Now to find this Tech Noir place and head there. Okay, and that is where we are gonna fade out for now. Uh, we're gonna slide on over to uh, Mako Shen. Mako, can you give me a description or an introduction of your character? Okay. Uh, well, after some time hanging low with the Dragon Queen crew and their friends gang, uh, Makushin used some of the resources he acquired from his long unintended stay in Toronto to require some, reacquire some of his gear. This elf man stands just about the average height, albeit a little chubby. His attire of a cream suit, blue vest and tie, black pants fits his previous life of a fixer and drone technology spokesman. Maybe he's not the best for his current line of work, but he can't help but be in the professional when not in his personal time. Sometimes a fruitless effort, as a long brown shaggy hair pulled back into a ponytail, may betray the proper mask. Uh, with his new reclaimed and some and some repaired gear, Makushin returns to the Dragon Queen's crew ship when he is at the small new home he's got from some arrangements with the connections. But today, he's back at his home. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Mako. Alright, yes. so maybe it isn't as nice as your last Perhaps everything that's happened since you started running has knocked you down a little, little bit. Uh, you still have a house of your own, though, and that's more than most drummers can say. It's a bit smaller, and the food is a little bit more sorry. But as you've managed to retain most of your decor from your old lifestyle, it's the fanciest-looking middle lifestyle home anyone's ever seen. A wonderful afternoon in your living room, complete with your uh, beautiful wife bringing you a small bowl of rice and a cup of green tea. As she leans over to place them on the table in front of you, though, her eyes flash twice. A small beep emanates from her, and she straightens up. Holding her hands in front of her, she speaks. One new message from Unknown. It is on your walk line. Would you like to hear it? Uh, yes, I. Please. Uh, her voice changes, imitating the voice of a young human man. Makushin. I am sorry to hear that so many of your contacts walked out on you after that Yakuza mess. I would like to assure you that I am not so skittish. People like you and me, we're the linchpin that hold the shadows together. Please, meet with me in Tech Noir in about an hour. And as uh, that sentence ends, your the voice cuts off and your wife's voice returns to her own. Message complete. Hmm. Dear, would you like for me to enable the grid connection uh, so you can do some digging? Or perhaps you'd like to reach out to one of your contacts? Or if you'd rather, I could schedule for you to head straight to that meeting. Uh, I... perhaps... Well, I know someone who, could, who is very well connected. Uh, yeah, could I... Could I get connect, could I, could I get connected to, uh, to Mr. Edderell? Is that your we... Johnson? Uh, no, uh, the gang leader guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can reach out to the gang leader. So Someone uh, that should know this place quite well. Might, might even know who this person might be. Trying to remember his voice. You, you reach out. He was an orc, wasn't he? Yeah, he was an orc. He was Old the orc. elderly Old one. Yeah. 
So uh, in your AR flashes the image of an older orcish gentleman. Ah, Makushin. Uh, it's been a long time since we've spoken. Uh, you know, since you and you and your your trollish compatriot helped me start and then end a war. How can I help you? <laughs> that, that has been quite some. That has been quite some time since then. Uh, uh, I was I, I was I was wondering uh, if did was there do you know of anybody besides uh, besides the people people in regards to regard, regards to that drug war as well as Yakuza has has been looking for me by chance? Uh, okay, let's see if he would know about this person. So we're going by his connection plus his. He actually probably will know. What is his loyalty? Five. Oh. Mm. That sounds either very good or very bad. <laughs> Not great. So he he thinks about it for a moment before he frowns. He goes, "I'm I'm sorry. I haven't heard anything in the underworld regarding this, um, but I know that you're a well connected man. Mayhap uh, if somebody is looking after you." They're probably somebody in that other business you do about not not the gang walk, but you know what I mean. Perhaps you should uh, you should reach out to somebody more connected to that. Of course, th 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 thank you, Mister Adderall. Uh, happy to help, and he disconnects. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I, uh, I right, then I'll connect to try to try to connect to Mister Johnson. You reach out to uh, your Mr. Johnson contact. The image comes up in your AR as a silhouette of a man with his, uh, his hands folded. And yet it's the voice of a woman. Uh, how can I help you, Mr. Markerson? It seems we haven't spoken in a couple months. Yes, I have been uh, quite, quite, quite busy. We'll leave that back. Uh, I, was, I was wondering if... Uh, if there's any anyone any anyone that has been looking look, looking for me, hmm. You know, I might have had something slide across my poor view. Uh, go ahead and roll me your influence plus your loyalty. So charisma, influence, loyalty. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. This one, yeah, this is not a negotiation. So one, seven, three. Get these dice off. Not, not the bag. No bag. Two hits. Mm, I might know something. Uh, there is a fellow that's been digging into uh, quite a few people in your line of work. Uh, building a, a, a connection stream, if you will. I, I don't know his name. I just know he's a he's a rat faced man. Uh, he, he hangs out at that downtown club, Technoir. Hmm. All right. His, uh, if you give me just a moment, and she turns around and she begins tack tacking away. Uh, I don't have any evidence of it, but I believe it's a an. Uh, she she's looking through for available information. I'm just seeing what she would know. Like it's odd. It seems like I've got them tied up to a couple of aliases. Uh, hmm. uh, Toshiro Nizumi and Inazu Nizumi, uh, Sharon Shuli, uh, a Flavia de Roder, uh, Damian Rodent. As it, as it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I appreciate I, I I appreciate you helping helping me figure this out. Certainly. Uh, watch your back out there. Whoever this is, they might be a little smarter than they let on. And she disconnect. Right. Okay. Uh. So one thing I. I, did, I should have asked a lot long, uh, uh, earlier. How many hours of sprite registration would you say I would have had? Um, if it's noon and we assume you woke up at like nine, like three hours. Three hours. 
Okay. Uh, okay, wait, it's a nightclub you're going to probably be in the evening. Uh, how 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 much do you feel like you need? What are you what are you trying to do? I was I was gonna see how uh try try to make some machine machine sprites or even uh some other sprites. Yeah, you can go ahead and, and whatever you can put ahead before the evening. Is I imagine I don't think a nightclub would even be open it. <laughs> so it'd probably be a five or six. Five or six, so like so I guess Yeah, you you have base yeah, however much time you need. Okay. Um Okay. Uh, I can I, I can do that in the I can do that in the background. Uh, All right, and we're gonna uh, come on. Uh, Love tap. Have we bored you to death, or are you still there? I'm here. Okay. Uh, Love tap. Would you mind giving me a description of your character? Okay. Um, at around four four foot five. Um, she kind of leans to the tall side of dwarfdom, but still not really tall enough to be passed off as a human especially not with the uh the pointy ears and she's pretty thick set um typically she wears what superficially kind of looks like a training gi but looking at it a bit closer uh, is clearly some kind of sturdier jacket that's been modified to look like as such along with various accoutrements a sash around her waist, uh, arm braces, sturdy boots. The uh, exposed arms, uh, she is ripped. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Love it. Um, on, her, on her right shoulders, a tattoo, uh, which appears to be a cormorant holding a sword in its mouth with the legend Mersey Pride. Uh, any signs of technology about her person seem to be kind of discreetly secreted in between her clothing. Uh, her general demeanor, she looks every inch the martial artist or, you know, trained fighter in an approximation of street clothing. Perfect. All right. Uh... So you are likely at home. If I remember correctly, your character lives underneath a dojo. Yeah, she has a. She lives in a the basement underneath her dojo. Well, oh. not her dojo, just the just the place she lives. Uh, so you are you are at home, as it were. And the familiar crunch of the stairs, almost giving way, is the telltale sign of your sensei coming down from the floor above. Master Hibito has served as your landlord since he came to Seattle. Helping to temper your body since you discovered that you were awakened to the ways of fear. He is also one of the few men who knows of your purpose in the city and what you're looking for. Uh, approaching you, Havelock, he calls out, the name on your sin and the only name he knows you by. Uh, how are you? I uh, cease beating the shit out of the punching bag and... Uh... As as is expected from my sensei, uh, a, a bow. Uh, he gives you the... He doesn't really bow back because he's the sensei, but he gives you like a little forward lean. A, a, a small sign of respect. Uh, I have information for you. Information that I am ashamed to say that I have had for days, even weeks now. But every time I think to give it to you, I am struck with yet another premonition. Uh, the information I have for you, I fear, will lead you down a road separate from the one that I have been teaching you. But I cannot either keep it from you. Uh, it will help bring you to what you're looking for if you want it. Is it... Is it related to what I'm looking for? I believe so. It is a, a step towards finding what you're looking for. It's a, a, a pensive moment, and then... I... I would like to have it. Uh, I was afraid you would say that, for I do not want to give it to you. So I have thought of but only one solution. Uh, and he, he drops from his shoulders his gi. If you can land a wound on me that draws blood, then I will tell you of the one man in the city that can help you find your father. That's what it takes. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Roll me square your... up to him. This doesn't usually end well. <laughs> Roll me your initiative, please. Okay, my initiative will be... 9 plus 2d6. Okay, so that's a... 4 plus 9 is 13. 13? Okay, so he does go first, but he... You, you sense that he's... He's quicker on the draw than you, but he doesn't move. Instead, he just stands there, waiting for you. It's your action. Okay, so... You go into a stance. Spend a moment sizing him up. Uh, but, as always, going to go in for the, the full frontal assault. It works on everyone but him. Oh. So, uh, that that'd be me. Unarmed dice pull, which is a uh, 16. Uh, that's three hits. Uh, so those two of those dice look kind of jacked. So it is a a, a draw. So you get a glancing blow. You and him exchange hits back and forth. Uh, he he parries and you strike again and he parries again and you just graze along his rib. You haven't yet landed a blow, but you you feel like you're doing better than you usually do. It does come to be his turn, however, and this time he does strike back at you. Uh, roll me the same dice again. Just another unarmed attack. Yep. Uh, you can you can choose dodge or, or uh, just use unarmed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you, on the other hand, completely elude him. He, he strikes at you with a with an open palm, and a gust of wind follows his strike, but you, you definitely move to the side and avoid it. If you would do me a favor and roll another strike. Okay. Starting to one side, come right back in with the straight arm. That's one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, would you like to spin any edge on that? Uh, I... Oh shit, I just erased your skills. Oh no, you just erased all my skills! Hold on. And I, I need those! <laughs> Let's see if we can roll that back. There we go. Easy. Nothing happened. Okay. Yuri definitely didn't make any mistake. It's fine. It's fine! Never made Actually, a mistake. Yes. Um... I believe I have enough edge to do this. Uh, you have five edge, so you could either reroll all your failures, you could also buy a success. There's one about exploding sixes. Yes. You but you have to use edge before. Yes. Uh, four edge. Add an edge to your dice pool. Add your edge as a dice pool bonus to your roll. And treat and sixes explode. That has to be done before you roll. Okay. But you can not spend the same amount of edge to reroll failures after you roll. Then yeah, but, so that's... And how many edge is that? Uh, four. Yeah, I'll spend four edge and reroll all of these. Get over here. Damn. Oh, baby. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, that's seven, four eight, nine. Four net hits, I believe your base damage is seven stun. Yep. Alright, seven plus four, so you're doing eight, nine, ten, eleven stun that he has to resist. So yeah, just dashing right in past his guard, open palm strikes to the chest. Uh Son, did you know you do a lot of damage? Um, <laughs> yes. Don't kill your master, red one! That's it's only stun, he'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, you get him good in the chest. Uh, you very quickly remind him that even though he is your sensei, he's also much much too old to engage in shenanigans. Given that he, he just doubles over and he falls straight on his face for a moment. Uh, before he goes, ah, you got it! <laughs> the, the, oh shit moment, <laughs> and the, <laughs> like... Are you, are you okay? 
he gives you like a like a shaky, weirdly out of character thumbs up, and he he slowly comes up to his feet. Um, he is at uh, ten stun out of like twelve he has available. <laughs> Oh lord. So you all, you almost uh, <laughs> knocked him out. But the, I, well I I can't <clears throat> I, I can't refuse you you now. There is there's a man in the city who seems to know everybody. Uh, he's got the face of a rat, which is never a good sign. Uh, but you'll find him at uh, a, a place of debauchery in downtown called Technoir. Then I, I promise, while I will pursue this, I won't deviate from what you've taught me. He leans in very closely. Don't lose your way! <laughs> God. Uh, anyway, that is uh, your destination. So everybody seems to be heading to the same place for very oddly similar reasons. Uh, if you would all like, you can... Uh, Put your tokens on the board. Now you all are asked to leave your weapons behind at the entrance. What a shame. Before that, hey, been about a week. What's up? Are you, you outside who also hopped the railing? Are you too looking for artwork that's been fucking vandalized? <laughs> uh, as nope. as we get into this, uh, we I'm gonna go ahead and take our break. Because uh, we have been at it for about an hour now. <laughs> uh, so I am going to go ahead and put the uh, starting soon break nice. thing. Very charming about the fact that uh, Mako must have walked by um, both Scratch and Pix and went, yeah, no, fuck that, and just went inside immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> We're going to take, uh, what seems good, a seven minute break, so we'll be back at 15 till the top of the hour. Sounds good. I guess some water. Uh, also getting water. Boop. You. Boop. Boop. How's everybody? Hey, everybody have a good break? Yeah, I ate a, a tiny little treat for myself. Okay. So everybody is arriving at Tech Noir, uh, I believe. Okay, so let's kind of cover everybody one step at a time. I believe uh, Pix and Scratch have both uh, just admitted they basically just hopped the rail and bypassed the entrance altogether. <laughs> <laughs> we're hanging out in the in the outdoor uh, yeah, eating. Look, we're catching up. Yeah, it's been a long thirty days. <laughs> yeah, it was a long 30 days, and then I guess we took, like, how long? You guys Before are... Before Uh, it's... Uh, who knows? It's, like... We'll get to it. The The problem is, like, the timeline, as it would be presented, would have it only be, like, two weeks. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna act like it's a little longer than that. Alright. So, let me get everything here. Alright. Uh, so y'all are in the outdoor area. Uh, where is Love Tap at the bar? Uh, yeah, probably just walked in. No weapons to speak of. Okay. Uh, and uh, ex how exactly does our 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 oxen fellow enter the uh, the equation? Uh. Well, I. When I just walked in and asked for a seat. Now it is a nightclub, so unlike a restaurant, which I believe you're thinking of. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. No, I have never been to a nightclub. I am not cool. That's fine. Oh, well, that's that's perfect. We can just imagine that's what your character does. Never been to a <laughs> nightclub. Uh, can I be seated? And the the gruff orc bouncer is like, you can find a seat. You could leave All your right. guns out here, though. Uh, do you have a safe or something and stick them in, or are you just gonna you gonna do something with them? If you lean them against the wall, I'll keep my eye on them. All right, fine. <laughs> They're the bright orange ones. Don't don't lose them. Uh, he takes them from you. He immediately scuffs the beautiful orange paint and drops against the wall. Uh. <laughs> he dies first. 
EX1, uh, I presume you're also entering through the main entrance. Yeah. Uh, and as as you approach, the the bouncer, as it were, looks you up once, down once, like he's gonna ask you for your weapons, and he just fuck it, go inside. <laughs> hey. his head goes inside. Uh, Mako, uh, do you hand over your weapons when you go in? I would just keep them keep them in the car. Okay, you head on in all professional like. It looks like you also got a table. Uh, all right, each is of it, you. I have to ask: Is this glass? Uh, I there are windows. But the windows. Are... All right, so I can see these yes. two. <laughs> you can see them. <laughs> Choosing like not. not. Can we see him back? You're facing the wrong way. Oh, uh, we yeah. are facing the wrong way. Ah, true. All right, fair enough. Yeah, we're just chilling. <laughs> Yeah, haven't even noticed. Yep. <laughs> Is it like a, oh, people I know moment? Oh, no, fuck, not again moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Pix, uh, like, w w we've caught up enough. What? Why are you here? Uh, somebody defaced my beautiful artwork, and I need recompense. Okay, whatever that means. Um, <laughs> you have an education, I assume, being an investigator. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> hey, look. Uh, <laughs> have you seen this guy? I'm just gonna show, I guess, a photo of the rat face man for the bounty. Uh, no, I have not. He looks like he needs a nap. Yeah. <laughs> He do, actually. He <laughs> but hey, do you notice the important thing in this picture? The big Nuian sign right above his name. Is this another one of your bounties? <laughs> <laughs> uh, How much is it, by the way? Um, This is PI work, so it would be whatever your hourly rate is. Dang. <laughs> yeah, you're not a bounty hunter anymore. You're the one that clarified that to me. Ah! Uh! I still do a few bounties, fine. Um, <laughs> you know, what, when the, when the case is dry up, all right, fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything went all, oh, you're loading music, okay. The music stopped. So. So do okay. I see the, the non-Nian sign, like you're pointing where one should be and there's just nothing? Yeah, yeah, and I'm just gonna <laughs> go, like oh, sorry, I forgot, and I'm just gonna handpick my business card. Oh, are we f are we gonna be Facebook official friends now? Also, Listen, no. I hang out on the old Matrix a lot. Um, yeah, this is cool, <laughs> thanks for the card. Yeah, it oh, doesn't man. have my address on it. <laughs> I'm really glad that you had to specify that. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know uh, how you like to hang out on people's boats, so... A lot there. Anyways! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh so, I'll uh, look through the glass. What do I see with my eyes? So, you see uh, your dear friend Makushin at a table nearby. You see a rarity across the room, uh, well not across the whole room, but some distance away from you is a minotaur. Uh, a troll uh, meta variant, <clears throat> less than one percent of the population. He seems to be sitting in a chair too small about him, grumbling about his lack of gun. Uh, you uh, see a dwarven woman at the bar who is hard to miss. She's about your same height, and she is uh, bubblegum pink in all sorts of ways. Uh, hmm. You see a couple of people at the bar. Uh, but to see anything specific, you would need to give me a perception check. Okay, I will do that. Oh that is more dice than I currently have. That is the wrong tokens. I don't. You are the those. second person to do that today. <laughs> Look, don't... we think it's because we Dang think it. the dice bag is closer than the edge bag. <laughs> do I? Yeah, because that's how it used to be. I will it's... swap them after. Uh, you can oh, pick. Can you not pick up the bags? Oh my god, you can't pick up the bags. Yeah, and hold left click on it. Oh. How about that? What did you get? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hits. So across the way, you see at the bar, hunched over it and trying not to draw too much attention, is a man whose mug is best described as perpetually tired. Uh, you you could say that he has a rat face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hold up the picture a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> Are you holding it up towards, uh, Pix? Yeah, like, straight up putting it on the glass. Facing <laughs> him, or I who- No, facing me! <laughs> oh, and just to compare. Side by side comparison. <laughs> Yo, Pix! What's up? A few things. Uh-huh. Uh, there's some dude- There's a guy we know in there, looking at us, and definitely pretending to not notice us. I uh, can, can this fix needs to be remedied. <laughs> I, while they are doing this- We need this, to make the biggest, loudest, most embarrassing entrance we can. <laughs> I'm gonna literally just like, hunker down and be like, no, watch this. And I wanna activate the electric Heelys. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> You oh, you hear the, the buzz as your electric Heelys spin to life. <laughs> oh my god. And I want to do like a full circle and then land right in front and then lean on the table and be like, sup babe? Give me <laughs> a... You do not have athletics at this time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Roll I didn't know I would need athletics to operate fucking Heelys. To do a maneuver with Heelys that involves spinning around and falling on a table? Yeah. <laughs> I meant like, <laughs> or coming one. in, doing a, just like a slow arc and then leaning on the table, not okay. like fucking landing on it. You made that sound like you were gonna fucking ballet your No, on no, 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 no. Okay. Way, <laughs> way less cool. Less cool, more dramatic. Yeah, uh, way less cool, no. just more like, who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> Uh, are, are you doing it to Mako, or are you doing it to the dude himself? Oh, to Mako. Okay. So, Mako, you see uh, a familiar face come around your table on bright electric lightning heelys, basically, and lean against your tailor and give you a sup. Jesus Christ, Fix. Like, I just, I saw, I, I, I was at the vault not too, like, a couple days ago. <laughs> but... I can't believe you came into this bar and didn't say hi. Like, I didn't know you. <laughs> so, so I would like to go because I, uh, well, first of all, can I see them from here? So, yeah, but when you, when you just said I would like to go and then fade it out, like what came to my mind was the Healy's man rolls in and you decide to leave. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Too much for me. People. My VTube cred is on the line. <laughs> yeah, you, you do see they're in full view. Okay, I would like to go over here because as far as I can tell right now, Mako looks like the most likely to be a hacking type person because he's full of technology. Is he? I, I thought he just had a I have days. no cyberware. <laughs> well, he's... Okay, well, this is true. I, I, I <laughs> actually, to be fair, the man with the Heelys, the robotic limbs, and a nice looking. This is true. <laughs> you are most likely to be a hacker. <laughs> just put his hey. on next to him. Yeah, you just put that whole gun right up my face, huh? <laughs> I don't have a gun. <laughs> the model has a gun. I don't have the gun. They took my gun. All right. I'm gonna Either come way. over here and tower over you because you are you are very small. Uh, and I'm gonna be like, hey. Hey, are you a hacker? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh god, actually, I, I have this, I really want to try and do this. Can I do an impersonation of a hacker? <laughs> what, what would an impersonation of a hacker be? Ooh, are you gonna bust hello, up? I'm a hacker! <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna give hello, him the, hello, hacker. give him like the uh, Vape how's, Nation how's songs? Going? What, no? Do you have AR gloves? No, I said you should give him the, the Vape Nation signs and say hack the planet. There you <laughs> go, it's a hacker impression. Oh my god, yeah, I just, I want to I wanna be like, yeah, I'm definitely a hacker. I'm a big professional, but it, it's just not, like, I'm not really putting a whole lot into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, um, what, 
what is your your they're called matrix icons, right? Yeah. What, what what's your matrix matrix icon? It's dope. But what is it? <laughs> it's super cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, but what is it? It's like a really cool icon. Um it's probably cooler than yours, but I don't want to brag. I mean it's not, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, um, like, not to, I don't want to drag this on, I'm not a hacker. What's your deal, though? Uh, oh, you're not? Well, shit, I'm looking here for a hacker, some kind of rat guy. Do I look like- I actually don't answer that. You look like a rodent? Rodents? <laughs> yeah. Rabbits? Yeah, I got rats? Yeah, I, I, same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's why I don't answer. It's fine. Alright, um... So anyways, you're not- do you know, no, do you know any I'm hackers? Not, that know know might be rat. I have a friend who's looking for a rat. Oh, really? Oh, um, I have a very important question. Actually, I've got two very important questions. Yeah. One, have I noticed that he's literally like three seats away from me? Uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> it's your uh, intuition plus uh, nothing. I'm the only one who's on fucking point. Yeah, okay, give so my intuition is four d six. Yeah, give me four d six. Okay. You gain an edge because he's literally three seats down from you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You do Two. spot him, yeah. You, okay, uh, and my, my other question is, how loud are these people over here being about looking very. for a rat-faced man? Yeah, you, you can hear everything. You hear the whole, are you a hacker? I'm looking for a man who's a rat. You're a rodent. Shut the fuck. You hear all of it. <laughs> so, after, like, basically, like, ten straight minutes of sitting at the bar looking around, and then eventually, like, kind of looking over to the right and seeing him and going, oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, gonna get up, I'm gonna walk over to the- <laughs> to these people, <laughs> so, like, you know he's right over there, right? Wait, I'm sorry, what? What, what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? Oh, who's, my, who's where? I hike my thumb over my shoulder at the rat face man. Where? Where at? <laughs> That's me, right there at the bar. At the bar? We're gonna go to this guy. <laughs> you well, they were arguing. Can I have cast Analyze Truth, please? Yes, you can cast Analyze Truth. Okay, I have two, five, seven hits there. Uh, roll should... my drain just to make sure. Okay. I take one drain. <laughs> okay, you uh, you pull onto the mojo and you you access analyze truth. Uh, you you detected that Pix was lying when he said he was a hacker, and then telling the truth when he said, "No, I'm obviously not a hacker, you big idiot," or whatever it was he said. Thank you. <laughs> so so because you experienced drain, is it like, oh, oh, okay, I believe you. <laughs> Don't you? You know Pix. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. Oh yeah, he's not a hacker. <laughs> I'm just gonna slow walk I, in. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this guy if he very loudly if he is a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> the man looks at you incredulously and goes back to his drink. Hey, I asked if you were a hacker. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> hey, uh, can I? I'm gonna start running silent, and then I'm just gonna <laughs> do a matrix reception. <laughs> just on on my. Is it? There's a public node here, right? <laughs> yes, there is a public node for Technoir. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run the matrix perception in it. Okay, roll me your matrix perception. Five, two. One, three. <laughs> because of the way I'm positioned, it looks like I'm threatening everybody with a gun. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> you did that yourself. <laughs> Six hits. So. The other people you can see are connected to the local grid. Pix, what comic do you have? Um, I have the... Yeah, fuck, I have it on my sheets. Yeah. Uh, you have a Transus Avalon, okay. Yeah. So you see, uh, and what does, uh, Ratch have? Also a Transus Avalon. Okay, and what does, uh, EX1 have? have a really cheap one, but I also have Tempest Trans Avalon. Okay. So basically you see like five Trans Avalons, um, and I believe most of them are running hidden. Uh, Mine definitely is, it's implanted. Yeah. 
Uh, but you, you do see, you recognize two of them, because you know Pix and you know Scratch. Um, but you recognize these two. You also yeah. see one over here and one over here. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna take. I'm good. Yes, I, I know you are harassing the man at the bar who is obviously an NPC. You, you do that. <laughs> what, what is the name of that goblin from that one D&D &D skit? Boblin, the goblin. Yeah, yeah so y y this man introduces himself as Boblin and wishes you would go away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to sit down next to him and continue to harass him until he gives me a straight answer. He, he, he gives you several straight answers in the form of, please just leave. Please just go away. Please but do are not you a Boblin. <laughs> are you a hacker, though? No! Do I look like a hacker? Look! And he just look. I I'm, have to... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go... Wait. Do I sense one here? <laughs> yes, you do see, uh... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm, I'm gonna send... I'm gonna ping off. Ping, ping, ping yeah, off you see, uh... Um, actually, what... What when you're running silent on the cyber deck, what's the target number to see it? Is, uh, it, is it the sleeves? I don't know. I don't know actually, because its matrix perception has been kind of weird on its like tape. Uh, yeah. well, I, you you got like six hits, I think, so you probably see it no matter what. Um, yeah, so you see an Erica MCD six from from this. Fellow. I'm just gonna send a message over over there because I can guess that's probably the physical location of where it is. And just say that's 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 not the rat. Like, please, please stop harassing <laughs> this man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna message back and be like, "Who the fuck are you? And how do you know?" We are. <laughs> We're... C -c -c come back, come back to the table, please. <laughs> oh shit! Is that you guys? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <sighs> you said they were over at the bar. If that's not the guy, then there's only one other guy. Oh. <laughs> I would like to take a seat if this is unoccupied at the next door table. <laughs> yeah, you take a seat. And then I would like to face palm <laughs> and groan loudly. So, uh, are you guys also looking for the rat? Are you I saying this very loudly? <laughs> yes. You know what? Let's take no. a vote. How about that? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no, crimes. but ping you yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at my like look at my deck and look back and be like, um, uh. Okay, well, why don't we just go talk to him? All right. <laughs> Did Mako's audible no uh, come off as a lie to me, by the way? I, yes. I guess it would, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so you, the rat-faced man is at the bar with a drink in his hand. Buzz, chummer, he says. An impolite way to tell somebody to leave. Hey, uh, that's real rude. <laughs> and I have a question for you. Are you a hacker? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he just puts both of his hands away. It's like, what? I... Can I, like, slide around the other side of him and <laughs> kind of lean in and go, answer the question? <laughs> you, you, I, you, you slide around the other side of him, and he looks between the two of you, and he goes, Alright, why don't y'all just slot and run? Um, who here knows street speak? Does anybody have street speak? Yo. Did he speak? Uh, Yo. Sc Scratch, are you within listening dif- uh, uh, yes, considering my numerous enhancements, yes. Alright. So, uh, you recognize that slot and run means that say what you want to say and then leave. Because why don't you just <laughs> slot and run, Shummer? Just... Uh, I don't know what the hell that means. Nope, and I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah, we can't really say anything. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't really tell me anything. Are you a hacker? Like, 
Just <laughs> this your icon a rat. needs to know this, and <laughs> I am gonna scream now. My face is running low. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta know, did you, like, are you a hacker? Did you log into a very specific node, take some files? Just, uh... uh Listen, I think I know what this is about. And he pulls he pulls out his comm link, he puts on the table. Hacker's a bit strong, but no sweat, chummer. You can have it back. Don't be sweating, you hoop. Okay, I didn't understand a word of that, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want that. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Scratch would recognize that, uh, no, um, no sweat means no problem, and don't be sweating your hoop means don't sweat out your ass. And, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yum. He, Delicious. Please do not say that. He, uh, <laughs> he 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 imports the the file to a little chip and says, "I thought it would be something that would be interesting to have." He hands it over to you. Uh, okay. Can I make sure that he deletes it off of if he just make sure that there doesn't stay on his machine. How would you like to make sure that he deletes it? Uh, I'm gonna first of all, I'm just gonna ask him straight off. Hey, can you do that? Can you delete it in front of me? Uh... Yeah. I don't know if I want to delete it. Well, I mean, like, that's the whole reason I'm here. I already had the data. I want you to delete the data. I, I don't under know if you understand my position. Information is what I do, and this is information to have. Oh, well, yeah, I don't really care, though. Oh. So, mm -hmm. delete it? Uh, no. I want to compile the sprite real quick. <laughs> Uh, so no, you're, you're just not gonna do it. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> can I say I love this man a little bit? I kind uh, of what would convince you to do it? Uh, I guess you could pay me. You and how much do you want to get paid? Ah, uh, well, you'd need a right good amount of Jing, friend. I literally don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying you'd need the cred to get that get that out done, you know? Uh, just as a general <laughs> question, because I'm not entirely sure, how, how likely is it that this information is backed up, not on his device? So, like, if I broke his device, it wouldn't... Uh... You have 0% idea in the character. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, Uh, is his thing still on the table? Yeah, it is on the table. I'm gonna pick it up. You pick it up and go, hey! Yeah, what? Why don't you just frag off, Razor Guy? I'm gonna uh, yeah, so, like, it looks like you're in the habit of taking things that aren't yours, so maybe I'm just gonna show you what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clap a heavy hand on his shoulder. I don't really give us lintages about any data. Does the name Havelock mean anything to you? I, listen, I don't know, Chummer. Why, why is everybody just coming around, taking my stuff, touching me? You, you know what? Fucking trick this. And he snaps his finger. And uh, you notice when he does the four chums on the dance floor and the two chums at the bar just all immediately look your way. Hmm. He's just gonna like lean over to both Scratch and Mako, his his good good friends, and be like, "I mean, it would kind of be like a dick maneuver to watch them get their ass kicked, though, right? Like, mm -hmm. are we are we kind of agreeing to that? I just want to know I beforehand. Mean, it would be a hell of a good show. It really would be, and I'm not saying that at least the guy with the the horns doesn't immediately deserve it, but like, <laughs> I mean, I kind of like him. He's really abrasive. He yeah. sure is it's, something. Let, let, yeah. Let's be real. Let's be real. It's, yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he might just be like a nice, soft, milky caramel center, though. You know? So as, you, <laughs> as you guys were having this conversation, the rat faced man looks like he thinks he's made his point. And uh, he looks at you and he looks between the two and goes, You marks, right? Not one of his eyebots, who I can tell. Listen. Let's cut it till whatever Jing you got, uh, you can pay me for what you need, and we can get whatever you want done. Chip truth. Is the file still open on his on his device? It's not open on his device, but you're pretty sure it's on there. Okay, but his device isn't like unlocked. 
No, it's not unlocked. When, yeah, so it's okay. just, yeah. Okay. This is a very nice phone, basically. Hmm. Uh. Oh God. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna smash it. Oh. Alright. Okay. Everybody roll me initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right, what what is this guy? Sitting like at the table alone? Is he alone? Yes, you do see that there is a gentleman sitting at the table alone. I... He seems to be ignoring you, and he is in a Alright, cool. I now know what I'm doing uh, on my turn in combat. Cool. I have one. <laughs> uh, that is five, seven, sixteen. Uh, type it out into the thing. There you go. Follow Mako. And I just realized this is actually very dumb because I don't have my guns. <laughs> so, That's yeah. why I asked when you entered. <laughs> what the fuck? It will be fine. I can <laughs> punch really hard. I mean. <laughs> Watch, watch my character get killed, game one, as is tradition. Traditional <laughs> slaughter <laughs> the yin. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it looks like six is that. Has everybody rolled one, two? All right, we are at the top of the round. First off, this man in the he has an electrical powered wheelchair. He leaves. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, dude, come. Hey. Fine. <laughs> as soon as soon as it looks like people are drawing weapons, his chair pulls up out of the table, which it was pushed up under like it was one of the seats, and he rolls away. I mean, to be fair, same. <laughs> I, you know, what? I, I that's... probably would too. It's Actually, yeah. Can I just mood. do that? Do what? Do the leave. You could leave, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but I mean, it... all right. The show, though. All right. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, at the top of the round, it looks like uh, EX1 is up first. EX1, you see all of these men around here uh, pull uh, from their hips. They pull like collapsible mic sticks out. Well, that's not so bad. It's not bullets. I think they're about to like move on this group, or they're just bearing their fangs for this group. Uh, yeah, the. So far, it looks like they're they're preparing for combat. They haven't started moving yet. Can I? Is there a hold action thing in this? It's been a while since I played. Uh, not officially, but we can let you hold that. I want to hold. I want to hold to respond to the four guys if they move upon the uh, Minotaur dude, as if to oh. like try and get it away and block them. So if they move past me, can I say I move in front of them and draw my swords? Wait, were your swords obvious when they came in, or were they concealed? They were obvious. They were both on my hips. Okay. All right. Yeah, you can do that. If you want to draw swords in a nightclub, I'm not going to stop you. All right. Uh, so we'll hold that action for now. Uh, what's next? 16. Sign, you're up. Or, punch lady. Love, love tap, dear. Love tap. <laughs> okay, so, in response to the, the people turning off, I'm just gonna go. Yep. Spin it, chumps. We're just talking here, and they're. Oh, hell. Um, I'm gonna try and put this man in a headlock. How would I go about grappling someone? Uh, so grappling is an unarmed attack, uh, but if you make it, you don't deal damage. You just grab him instead. Okay, so just a unarmed attack roll. Just one, two, three, four you hits. Crush the thing. Uh, for he rolls. Uh, he crit fell. So you just reach out and immediately grapple him. It is it yeah. is the easiest grapple you've ever had. You feel like so you I, just grappled a child. I kind of just pull him towards me and put him in a headlock and go, Havelock Ryuji, you know something. Okay. 
And they do start moving forward, so you step, uh, EX steps forward and draws her swords, which does stop them. Uh, and they're like, what the fuck, what the frag, actually? Who went the fucking <laughs> sword? Yo, somebody called Star! Uh, and then they do stop their initial advance. That brings us to 14. Uh, Wall Street, you're up. The rat-faced man is held in a he headlock by the, uh, by the dwarven lady. Uh, yeah, so, so is anybody else, like, still advancing, or are they just, like, they they, out? they stopped one EX drew actual goddamn swords. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in this guy's face and just be like, Hey, yeah, so I, I did warn you. And you didn't listen, so now what, man? Okay. So you 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 we good? You gonna you gonna stand down? Okay, so as that happens, uh this group here, this man is going to attempt to grapple Yin. Actually, Eugene is way too big for him to actually hit, so he's gonna try to hit you in the back of the head with his nightstick. Um, what is his stats for this? Yeah, I'll about the same. Roll me uh, your either your unarmed combat or your intuition plus reaction. Uh, let me see which one's more, man. Unarmed combat. Uh. Reaction is what? What is reaction? Uh, oh, there so it is. Attribute. Three. Um, so intuition and reaction, so six. Yeah, I'll do that. All 66. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and spend... How many edge do I have to spend to get exploding sixes? Um, it's four, and you add your edge pool and get exploding sixes. Oh yeah, that sounds like overkill here, but I'm not going to do it. BAM! One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so you, uh, he, he swings at the back of your head, um, but you kind of feel him coming, and you just kind of step to the side a bit. Uh, likewise, this man here attempts to do the same to, uh, Love Tap. Love Tap, roll me either your unarmed combat, actually you have to do dodge because you're grappled. Well, Can we'll... I try and, like, discourage this man? I don't know, maybe get an edge or something by basically, like, twisting and putting the rat-faced man in front of me? Um... Like you're gonna hit this dude if you hit me. I I will say that's what happens if, if, you, if you do the check, uh, but that would be kind of an action. So... Okay. That's essentially what you're attempting to do to avoid being hit here. Okay, so dodges... Sorry? Reaction plus intuition. Okay. Reaction is five. Intuition is four. That's two. Two. Two is a glancing blow. So, uh... Here's what happened. You spin him around. You put you put the rat-faced man in between you and the goon, and the goon lands the strike in such a way that it hits his boss kind of uh, on the shoulder and kind of gets you uh, in the arm. Uh, and even though you don't take any damage, you do take the electrical effect of the uh, the stun baton, which I think just reduces your initiative. Also minus one on multi rounds. Okay, yeah. So you've got minus one to rolls and uh, minus one to initiative. So you basically, you just got a little bit of a zap. Okay. Uh, but so did the boss, and he's like, Frank, fuck, Frank. Uh, that brings us to... Uh, Scratch and Pix, you're up. You're watching all of this happen from over here. Pix can go first. Uh, um... I'm just gonna angle the camera so it, it like because it there's something comical about from where you guys are at just watching the scene <laughs> in the distance. Like if you zoom the camera right behind Pix's back. 
<laughs> it uh, is funny because Pix looks, looks like he's just like, are you looking at these motherfuckers? Oh, to record yeah. this shit. It's what he's doing. <laughs> um, hmm. It feels like a little overkill to do some of the things that I could do. <laughs> shit. Um, can I just sort of... I'm gonna just look at these two and be like, I'm gonna go and try to make sure nobody dies. <laughs> And I'm gonna... we accidentally got sorted by height. <laughs> sorted by height, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you're, um, go you're going over? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, move over. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how many spaces I can go. Um, it's a meter per square, and you can go 15 meters, so that would be 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can go up to the bar. Cool. It I'm take gonna all over. <laughs> I'll give you an extra space since you used your healies. Cool. Uh, um, and uh, am I able to? Uh, am I able to do like a negotiation? Yes. Roll me your influence plus uh, your charisma. Let's... Yeah, it should be here. Yep. Cool. Six. Figure it out. You have sixteen legs. Oh, sixteen. Fuck. All right. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four? One, Wait. two, three... Yeah, when I have it, it says three. Three, okay. He's going to roll. Uh, you gain two edge because of the situation, by the way, if you'd like to spend any. I absolutely will. Because you are uh, definitely in the advantageous position of the negotiation. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, what was it? What, uh, rerolls failures? Four edge. Yeah, so, I'm, I'm willing. Okay, and you gained two, so you effectively spent two here. Problem? That's looking a little better. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It says when I hover. Five. Five. So plus the other two or three, which would be eight total. And uh, let me know if that works. Uh, just barely. You're. A... He seems pretty confident in his small army of goons, but you you approach and you make the point that maybe he shouldn't be so confident in his small army. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be like, yo, hey Chummer, listen, uh, that motherfucker has swords and you're in a headlock. You wanna maybe chill out? So, as you do that, he goes, hey, Isha, Isha, you don't gotta geek me, okay? I can tell when I'm fragged and I don't need no static. Chip truth, just let me go. Dope, dope. <laughs> Alright, a combat ends. He puts his swords away. Uh, so he, as, as, as this combat situation ends and he's got his hands up like, what are you all here because I took this, this chummer's data or? No, uh, honestly, I could not give a shit about him. I, no, yeah, it's mean. I, I feel like I'm, I'm surrounded and I have no idea why. What, one at a time, what do you people want? I, I still have him in a headlock. Or... If you want, you, you want yeah, in control. I, I, I won't like completely let him go. Just, you know. Relax the headlock enough that he can breathe. Just not enough, just to, you know, not enough to know that I've still got him. Alright, so... Who's first? Who's, what, what, what does everybody, individual people want with me now? And he snaps his fingers and his... His four goons over here go back to fucking pumping it on the street, on the dance floor. <laughs> There's this fucking... I'm really glad that they're the only four here too, so they just like... They're the only ones. I love it. They're pumping it. <laughs> ah, um, good. Disco can resume. <laughs> or Disco Elysium. Okay, so... Wh who wants to go first? Somebody tell me what they want. Okay, I'll I'll kind of just lead and go. I gave you a name. A, a name? What, what was it? Havelock? Havelock Ryuji. Havelock Ryuji. Listen, Ome, I... I know a lot of people. Perhaps I should I should introduce myself. My name is the Rat Faced Man, and 
It's I a dumb know. name. Mm. Uh, I know basically <laughs> everybody to some extent. That's that's my job, right? That's that's the biz I'm in. I can't say I know this fella you're looking for off the top of my head, but if you're if you're really degrees with some jing, I can see what we can turn up for you. Like you don't you don't got a strong on me, but I you know I'm, you understand I'm a businessman. This is my my line of work, my occupation, uh, and I need I need Jing to make the the funds flow to get that information for you. So maybe we can all gather around, and whatever business each and every one of you has, we can we can find a mutually walkative solution. Chip truth. Okay, I'm gonna kind of. Uh... I'm gonna look around for the what, who I think is the smartest person here. I'm gonna settle on picks. And just <laughs> mouth. <it. laughs> mm. uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I did mm. not hear you over my own sneeze. What? <laughs> uh, she she mouths at picks. Uh, Jing. What on earth is he talking about? I'm gonna just like do like the universal De Niro sign, you know, with my fingers. I'll kind of nod and then go back to uh, squeezing this man gently. <laughs> yeah, his comm link is a little fuck. Uh, yeah. In fact, Speaking you... of that comm link, uh, if I uh, surreptitiously, if it ends up in my pocket, would they notice with all the commotion going on? You broke it like in half, so he doesn't even care. You okay, see, cool. <laughs> You just I mean, you slide the, the two halves of this comm link off the bar into your bag. <laughs> one half falls in one part of your bag, and the other half falls in another part of your bag. I'm still gonna take a look at it. That's fine. Uh, is it all right? So the only one of y'all I recognize is my good friend Makushin, who I invited here. The rest of y'all. Uh... <laughs> oh no! Now can Pixel like, look up and be like, "Ew, Mako." <laughs> no, oh wait, this I guy's your don't... friend. Why I did you say something, man? You we didn't even know you. And I wouldn't say we know each other. More so, more so. Uh, I used to be. A, I used to be. A fi I used to be a fixer. And I would imagine you. you uh, I, I turned to the rat face man. You are somewhat in that line of work too. Yeah, of course. That's why I invited you here. And I, like I told your friends, they ain't no zabatsu, ne? So I figure. They they be marks or runners. I offered to do some work with them, and here they are harassing me in my place of business. Uh, yeah. So I'm pretty sure I got you out of a chokehold, but I yeah. whatever, man. That that one's fine. The rest of them barbarians, <laughs> each and every one. Uh, I I would assume. Actually, I'm here because we have a mutual acquaintance. Oh, but then we can we can also uh, sit down and do some work. Why don't we all take a seat and figure Does something? I mean, out? I should let him go now. Y yeah. Yes. Uh, no. I. We never. Yeah. He. Him. He sucks, but he's cool. <sighs> okay. I'll let him go. Whiz. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like look at the guy and go. Sorry, I broke your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no sweat, <sorry. laughs> I hate this man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I. I uh, you know. Can I take a look at it? What? Can I take a look at it later? Bullshit. Um... Yeah, t truth be told, I'm not too uh, uh, technologically inclined myself. I only do entry work. And he's like, you can take a look, but you'll have to dig it out of the ox's bag. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll just I'll just give it to you. Okay. I will hold on to it for now. Anyways. Well, I won't uh... give it to you yet. It's, it's still in my bag. I'll give it to you later. Okay. Uh... <laughs> So it sounds like. So what was that you wanted to talk to me about? And I guess I look around the, the, the four the other four, maybe even five of us. Well, yeah, there's I I got because uh, I heard some pixie got fragged by the yakuza, real Drake and the fan, and uh, <clears throat> it, okay. Yeah, it it was it was you come to find out, and it turns out you're not fragged. Uh, I'm fairly well connected. You're fairly well connected. It looks like you're surrounded by um, by some some friends. Uh, I was hoping we could do business together. Uh, hmm. all right. 
Should the should okay, the well, should Mr. the big fellow be here? He doesn't seem like he he quite knows what's going on. Oh um, no! I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put on the most serious face I have and sit down and be like, no, I know what I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Did I detect a lie with that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this is this is shadow running stuff. Yeah, you you detect. He's telling the truth as far as he knows it. <laughs> <laughs> And as far as you can tell, the rat-faced man has yet to tell a lie. Okay. Cool. Well, um, well, since it seems like you, I wouldn't say you have a job for us. When it sounds like you might have somebody that could lead us to a job, or shall we say, a Johnson. I mean, I could get to one eventually. This is the beginning of a relationship. I don't have work lined up for you just yet. Uh, okay, I see. But I was well, hoping to get some work put together for you. Can I like sub vocal mock-up just be like? I wouldn't. Just... I wouldn't see why not, but you have. But I, you can probably understand that some of us are. Some of us are apprehensive about us, about about people about about people specifically looking for us directly. Now, Which Leo is, tried to say see... something. <laughs> Sorry. Leo tried to say something. Oh, yeah. Oh, it wasn't really all that important. I was just gonna sub vocal mock and be like, "Did this guy invite us here to just yank our chain?" Uh. I, I was, mm, the way, I would say the way he did it probably wasn't, probably wasn't the way I I would have done it. He he literally only invited Marco here. The rest of you yeah. showed up to. <laughs> Who was, still sounds he was like he's fucking like yanking quiet. his chain. Hi, I wanted you to come here. Don't go at work. Just wanted a friend to chat. Yeah. <laughs> Who was even my client for the investigation? Uh, the bounty hunters guild. They they want you to arrest this man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I don't know that yet. <laughs> yeah, nobody here but you knows that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's the crime he's accused of? Um, uh, smuggling, trafficking, uh, drug dealing, or uh, arms selling, uh... Oh uh, no, that's a friend for life. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ner nervous he looks away on Mako. <laughs> Uh, it, falsifying identification. In, in <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, what it sounded like, you seem to have, you, you seem to have made, uh, snooped, on, snooped on a couple, a couple, uh, some of these people, or maybe had an unintentional business with some, some of them. Yeah. So as the conversation seems to calm down, he kind of spins around a bit in the bar stool and he leans back against the bar and puts his elbows up on it and. Like, all right, this is this is this is a little bit this is whiz. Like, I I really thought I was in some static there for a moment, Yanni. Uh, but this let's sort through. I know what Marco's here for because I invited him. I don't know most of your names or why I was in a chokehold. I know uh the 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 lady here. I don't believe I got your name, uh, pink dwarf lady gal, halfer. Love half will do. Half will not. Love tap it is. Uh, you want I'll me take a step forward. to, and you want me to find someone for you. Uh, give me the name and deets, and I'll start looking into it. And then as Scratch comes forward, he turns to Scratch, and he just kind of spins on the bar stool. Uh, and he he refrains from calling the second dwarf a half because he just got scolded for it. And he goes, <laughs> and what is your name? Nothing much, breeder. Ah, see, now we're <laughs> talking my language. <laughs> <laughs> surrounded yeah. by racism at all, all the directions. Yeah. All times. Uh, Holy uh, shit. <laughs> uh, how can I help you? Oh, um, I wanted to show you something. I have this, uh, it's a gift from our friend, the man in the, man in the alley. Ah. Spoke to the man in the alley. Alley, one of my few, few magical contacts. See, most of them I can't see. Yeah, yeah, he had like something for me to give you here and I'm going to take out uh <laughs> yeah. take out a pair of handcuffs oh oh you're the uh you're the PI that's been on me listen yeah oh man listen on me I'm just going to do the thing well as, as you approach to to handcuff him it goes what about a proposition uh mm. you see in my line of work I have some people, and he snaps his finger, and this fellow steps forward. Uh, this is my paid fall guy. His job is to go to jail in situations where I would go to jail. So, you I are, get paid. You get paid. I don't have to Done. go to jail. 
<laughs> and the fall guy just lets it happen. In fact, he, he seems almost ecstatic. You get the feeling that going to jail is going to be a big payday for him. Sweet. It's a big payday for me, too. So. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Alright, so you you uh, handcuff that fellow. I guess, alright. Two down. Uh, and the. You uh, owe me one. I. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and the. The. The Fari, how can I help you? Wait, are you talking there to me or are you talking to the bunny man over there? <laughs> I think if you're actually the animal, I don't know if that counts as being a Fari. I. I don't know the vernacular. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you're talking to Bunny Man, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, really could have applied to three of us. Sup, dude? Hi. <laughs> uh, oh, shit, there's also- yeah, okay, yeah, there are three. <laughs> well, I don't really count, because I'm just naturally this way. Yes, what <laughs> Born this way. Okay. Uh, yeah, how can I help? Uh, are you- what, um, listen, do you, uh, are you like an art and aficionado? Oh, uh, of a sort. Yeah, do you do, like, street art and shit? Uh, sometimes. Cool. Your work sucks. Don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you familiar with my work? You, you painted over mine, which was a work of beauty, and yours is trash. Uh, but I have to let people know it's the year of the rat, too. Uh, it's not. It That <laughs> ended. And it was a shit year, and we can all agree it was a shit year, and you can stop it. That's what we're isn't it year of the? Year. Isn't it year of the ox right now? It's yeah. year of the ox, baby. So Hell yeah! Shit. It would be, but we're doing a sequel. And are, are you going to okay, disagree um, with that? So, uh, <laughs> Pix is, is going to lean um, over, and I'm going to do. I'm going to. Ah, God, I'm going to also do a negotiate again. Um, <laughs> In which he uh, he leans over and he's like, "All right, here I got I got a proposition for you. All right. You can continue doing um, your artwork out there, uh, or you can stop. And uh, if you do stop, I won't paint my own artwork personally on your shitty face right here in front of everybody." Uh, um, <laughs> that's gonna sorry. be intimidation. Well, me your negotiation. Can can I uh, assist? Um. <laughs> Yeah, you could do it. You could do an assist. You just stand behind Pix and look like you're gonna beat his ass. Yeah, uh, of the cow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so in that case, uh, uh, Wall Street, roll me your charisma plus influence. Okay, hold up. I gotta get back, and my controls aren't working. Okay. Um. So my influence plus my uh, influence is three plus my what? Charisma. Uh. So five. Okay. Uh, sorry, my zoom function is not working at the moment. Oh, rest in pizza. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> not gonna work. That's not gonna work! Bruh! Here. I'll just get rid of that. There we go. That did not actually roll. I don't know why that... Just here. Let's try that. There we go. Sorry. It was just kind of like flipping instead of rolling. Uh, okay, so two. Leo, add two dice to your pool. Yeah, that does it. It was. Cool. Listen, no, st no static, friend. I'm fine. So, uh, can I shake his hand? Uh, yeah. His hands are kind of clammy. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do it with my robotic one, and then um, as he shakes it, I'm gonna do like a little, uh, like, just smiley face in his hand with my spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do that. You you give him a, a temporary tattoo, as it were. Cool. Oh shoot! I didn't go through the, the one of the dialogues with your mom was gonna be her trying to to wipe your tattoos off with her thumb. But I didn't <laughs> <really get it. laughs> Adorable, but I'm glad it didn't happen. <laughs> All right. So cool. That one settled. Uh, I'm pretty sure the ox man just wanted to break my phone, so that leaves the woman who's been staring at me, or the man, or the the robot, the yeah, dragon. Breaking, yeah. Yeah, breaking your phone is probably not a good idea. You just wanted to stay in contact with me. 
Well, it is what it is. Uh, how can I help the the one with the dragon bits? I have footage of you in a drone, and you might know something that I used to know. Uh, what might I know? Potentially about my past. Uh, well, I'd Somewhat... have to know who you are before I could tell you if I knew anything. What what would our connection be? Honestly, forgotten this. <laughs> so, you uh, you were given a name, uh, um, Inazo Nizumi. Uh, supposedly, they walked at when uh, they walked at Winwaku at the same time you did before you got uh, cybered up. I know someone by the name of. Ananu, Anazu Zunumi? Sorry, I'm pronouncing that. Uh, he, does anybody have Japanese as a language? Yes. Oh, I should have, but no. I think, uh, uh, um, I mean, I, I, th I think Sign has basic knowledge. I have basic. Does anybody have both Japanese and corporate knowledge? I have I... Japanese culture and kind of corporate knowledge. <laughs> I, I have corporate I knowledge, but no Japanese. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, so Love Tap, you recognize that the last name Nizumi literally means rodent. Yeah, I... Uh, and on cue, uh, he kind of goes, well, that would be me, one of me. The, listen, the ID, the ID is fake, that job. I don't work for, uh, Rinraku, Chip Truth. Uh, I, I am familiar with you, only because you've got so much of the, the chrome. Uh, I only know you were floating in a vat of nutrient fluid by the time I left that job. You're gonna tell me anything I want to know about that. I just did, Charmer. <laughs> I I was at uh, Runraku uh, Unrelated Work. I know you were one of them desk jockeys, and now you're obviously not a desk jockey. Whatever they did, they put you up in some nutrient fluid, so it's some full conversion shit looking at it. And you left not knowing a single thing about any of that. Wasn't my job at the time, but it can be my job in the future to find out. Good, that'll do. Ah, so it seems that we have a, a walking relationship. Uh, pretty much the all six of us. Seven of us. I mean, our transaction pretty much ends here, but yeah, that's cool. I kind of talk to him as a big, like, I mean, if if we're gonna if we're if we're gonna get do jobs do jobs from him through me, I this is probably not that's a real fix. <laughs> well, I mean, like he can talk to you. It's fine. Okay, I don't care. what? That's okay. <laughs> you want me to do jobs for you, and I hope your memory turns up a bit better for me as it did for Razor Boy over there. Sure. Well, I absolutely will. Uh, if you do jobs for me, I do jobs for you. We exchange sing, we exchange work, uh, we have a walking relationship. I don't know about you, uh, Love Tap, but Love Tap does sound a bit like a, a pseudonym. I get the feeling most of the other folks here like to, to run in dark places. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's well, tip I'm pretty, pretty sure all, all of us are running uh, pseudonyms, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. Face, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my real full name. Uh, I... uh, scratch <laughs> your lie detector goes off. I was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I even need to roll dodge intentions. <laughs> uh, I would actually like to offer the guy, I'm the fall guy, a little final drink before <laughs> before I take him off. Yeah, you you buy him a drink. <laughs> All right. So everybody, you can add the rat faced man as a contact. He is a connection six loyalty one contact. Excellent. And. Uh, that is how everybody gets to meet. That's basically everything I had planned for this evening's session. Uh, we're going to go a little bit longer because we're going to go over any changes we need to make to characters and discuss anything we need to do. Um, what was the uh, connection loyalty? Uh, connection six, loyalty one. For all of our temporary contact or all of our group contacts, for now I'll put them up here. Uh, extended cast as it would be. 
Uh, before we do any karma or any character adjustments, I do want to take another break if that would be okay with you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna... What do we say? A ten minute break? Come back at the top of the hour if that'd be okay? Yeah. And I sent you a thing, maybe. Oh! Oh, yo! Perfect. Alright. Uh, for, I'm going to go ahead and run an ad. I will be back in about 10 minutes. Uh, and then we will get to the less gameplay, more character adjusty, karma y, <laughs> conversation y stuff. Be back in just a bit. We able to role play in the bar for a bit as well. Alright, uh, yeah, if you guys would like to keep role playing, you absolutely can. Cool, cool. Uh, so, Mr. Mr. Bunny Man. Uh, what's up? I'm hey. pretty sure I'm, I'm a professional hacker, if you will remember. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I am! I, I could be. Everyone's a professional hacker in training, are they not? Are you gonna no. deny me my dreams, Mako? I mean, like, if you need a teacher. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're a hacker? Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, this is this is very confusing. Could everyone who is a hacker please put their hands up? Uh, I'll, I'll raise my hand. I, I, I will do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm just gonna... Marco, how does it feel to be the only professional in a group of chuckle fucks? <laughs> I, so the next close to professional is Scratch, and that's a very, very far distant one. <laughs> what? Uh, Excuse you! Wow! Did you hear what I Mako came here with a job, and I completed the job. Thank you. Oh, Mako, can't believe you. That was cold. Look, I don't know what I'm doing in or out of character. <laughs> Mako, you were nicer last game. <laughs> <laughs> Mako took a week off to become an asshole. Jeez. So, so Mako, you, you... is your relationships okay? <laughs> is everything been taking away? classes? Everything's fine. <laughs> yes. So you so, group from? Yeah. Yes, I've just been a lot more grumpier lately, and I don't know why. <laughs> oh. Hey, Mako, do you want to go get some food after this, huh? I. There's a bar right here. The only problem <laughs> is. <laughs> Do you, do you want to, I mean, we could go to the bar and get some food. Do you want some bar nuts? Bro I'm going to just hand you Bro the bowl. Froyo? Froyo! Oh my god, Froyo <laughs> sounds delicious. Hey, so, I have what? a question for you. I have a question for you. What? Can I exchange contact information with you? Uh, sure. I, I'm going to give the my call link. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, sure. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. Yeah, I'll give you my number. You cute. <laughs> but you can tell a little bit it's a sympathy thing. <laughs> I would like to message not Mako's comlink. <laughs> I mean, I have the... What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I get it. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say real quietly. I'm gonna be like, so you guys are you guys are shadow runners, right? Ah, uh, because no. I am too. I assume my lie detector pops off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not. Oh I God, have a shadow running nice. career. I just haven't done anything with it yet. Oh. So, yeah. So yes. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, no, because I, I thoroughly believe that I am a shadow runner. Um, yes, I am absolutely a shadow runner. Why did that goes off? <laughs> cool. Cool. I'm. <laughs> You're a quiet cool. one. You done brooding? Also, can I just say, can I, can I just say, mm. you look dope. Okay. So you look... glowing? <laughs> Thank you! 
I try very hard to do that. <laughs> it shows. Just, every time you spin your token, I just imagine you like doing like a ballerina. <laughs> ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> it is the center of attention. Character. Well, making sure everybody's keeping their attention. Do I sure on you? I I actually I have a um. My character has a flaw, which is that if he's being ignored, he gets extreme social anxiety. Does he, like, start Ginyu oh. posing, like, mid-conversation and stuff? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he- actually, he takes negative bonuses to stuff if he's being ignored. Oh. <laughs> uh... Yeah... <gasps> Anyways, your stuff looks dope. I think you look dope. And by the way, my name is Wall Street, and uh, we're friends now. Can I have your contact info? Uh, you can add me. Cool. You can call me X1. X1. Awesome name. I love it. It's Thanks. dope. How did you get the new? How did you get the name Wall Street? Oh, a bull. You know, bull market money, that kind of thing. I thought it was a clever pun. Sounds pretty clever. Thank you. Anyways, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a smooth. night. That's all you do. <laughs> you just smooth. <laughs> Pix, is, Pix is just texting furiously on his phone. Yeah. <laughs> like legit, what? just scratch Mako. <laughs> 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 the thing is, like, scratch, scratch can do it in her head because her comic is in her head, and I can just do it in my head. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> what are we fucking. <laughs> I heard laughter from the hallway as I was coming back into the office. <laughs> uh. I have two people, no, three people's numbers now. I have Mako, uh, Ix, and um, Pix. I have their numbers now. You say you and have I'm working their numbers. On is, are you working on Love Tap? Okay. How are you getting their numbers? Because I know uh, you are one of the horniest people in this chat. So <laughs> I feel like I need no, to. No, I'm just understand. asking them. I'm just oh, being yeah, like, dude. hey, we're friends now. Give me your contact info. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Pix was the only one who flirted this time. Aggressively <laughs> polite. Like, Didn't you hate this now, man like 20 minutes like... ago? <laughs> I'm trying to make friends with the other Shadowrunners because I am also a Shadowrunner. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, a Shadowrunner. Scratch... <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he was claiming my lie detector was not going off. <laughs> because I am a Shadowrunner. I believe thoroughly that I am. Yo, Wall Street, how many jobs you done? Uh, What kind of jobs? Shadowrun jobs. How many crimes have you committed? How many crimes have I committed? Oh, uh, like, hundreds. How many of them due to Shadowrun contracts? Uh, you know, I'm I'm freelancing. I'm between jobs right now. <laughs> uh, not German. Uh huh. I, I just I don't need a lie detector for that. I'm I not gonna like, lie to you. I feel like Scratch is like gatekeeping Shadowrun. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Every single job that you've ever worked for right now, uh, Johnson, Johnson, <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I remember that guy, the one with the curly Q mustache. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You do you say zero for the number of crimes committed, but that's only because you're a really good water runner. <laughs> oh god. What are you going to settle up to Pix and be like, So you're Pix. I I am the, the the bunny man, I guess. Specifically, everyone is calling me that. It is Pix, though. <laughs> H hello did you just received a message from someone called tempest oh shit yeah i did reached into his backpack and pulls out tempest's helmet and it's smashed Fuck! <laughs> oh. uh, is that bad uh, that looks like it might be bad uh, are uh, this is gonna sound ruder now that i have to say it out loud are they good <laughs> My sister is dead. Oh, um... Holy shit. Oh. 
Somebody has to have to pull Wall Street aside and explain to him that Shadowrunners die when they are killed. Uh, can you, can you, um, I'll do that. Uh, <laughs> <take my job>. <laughs> what? <laughs> I very much want Pixie just to, like, Healy's away. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Um, no, uh, specifically, it's just gonna be like, uh, uh, what, what happened, though? I love that in Leo's mind, in real life, he has to constantly choose between, like, the real option and the funny option, and he never knows. <laughs> like, I, which... I, I have to play it on a whim, but it would be just... <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Alright, so... I do uh, legit want to pull Wall Street aside a second. Okay. No. Go. Hi. Yeah. So, you see, what happens when a Shadowrunner loves a crime... <laughs> <laughs> Is eventually, so the crime out. catches up to them, and they get dead. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Well, I. So uh, as you're having this, um, this guy pulls uh, pulls Scratch aside. Hey, is this guy good for this? <laughs> for for your probably, line of work? Probably. I mean, I, I mean, if nothing else, can probably take a hit. <laughs> oh my god. So I, was, uh, I was also making a reference, but <laughs> nobody got the other topic. I know Marco yeah. gets it. What? The, remember Harmon Quest? I pull them aside, and then I pull them farther aside. And I pull them... <laughs> so what's going? What, what's up with the dead person over here? Okay, <laughs> a lot of tact God. involved. God. Uh. Listen, I I know this person's sibling. Yeah, you two look alike. Um, but uh, I I like I just talked to them a couple weeks ago. I thought they were fine. Well, they uh, they, they died breaking me out. Uh, I get why they wanted help with you. So I. Ah, oh, fuck! You're my problem now, huh? <laughs> You don't have to say it. Like, you can't you know. just fucking say that. <laughs> I'm just going to back further away. Definitely not my problem. I like uh, that you're more and more hanging out with the dude you've just arrested for a fake Yeah, crime. no, that's fine. <laughs> um, I think they're just buddies now. <laughs> Any information on my sister or anything you can help me with, I'd appreciate it. I'm not expecting anything, just... No, 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 this is me taking full responsibility. Um, hey, so, uh, fun fact, our group is no-kill. That's the law. And I, they're not here to argue that, so that's what I'm saying out loud. <laughs> I already know my sister killed people. That's not a problem. No, 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 I know she did. I'm just saying you can't do that here now. I'm, that's the loss. <laughs> you help me figure stuff out, I'll abide by that. So cool! I just gives him a thumbs up, and uh, then, then he leads away slowly. <laughs> hey, they're my problem now. I'm so sorry, guys. Hey, if you want Keely's, because I'm well sick. Uh, uh, I assume there's a bartender. Yeah, you can you can drink an alcohol. Yeah, I would very oh, much like that. Hold on, hold on, no. You, you, you said, you said you would get all of us soyo. So. Oh, uh, gosh, yeah. yogurt, frozen yeah, yogurt! Well, fine, I, I would like some frozen yogurt. Fine, so, but we're taking the guy I'm arresting. Dude, you want some yogurt? <laughs> is that what we're fading away on? Is you guys are going yeah, to drive you guys want some yogurt? yogurt? Yeah, you want some yogurt. You, you guys want yogurt too? Bar. Come on, let's go. Fro-yo, 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 fro-yo. Bro, yo! 